Hi everyone, my name is Mike Bryan. I'm happy to have here today Jessica Cottle. Uh, she's our financial data analyst here with the State Healthcare and Wealth Preservation Team. Thanks, Jessica, for coming mm -hmm. today. Happy and, to be here. And um, you know, wanted to have this conversation for folks who are maybe you know, possible new clients that are thinking about coming in, or folks that are already current clients, to help understand all of this. I know it's a it's mm -hmm. a lot for new clients to digest and. And your role on our team is the financial data analyst. And a lot of folks may not know what that means, mm -hmm. but could you just describe a little bit about what that role is and you know, what the primary things you take care of, yeah. you know, particularly at the beginning of cases? Yeah, so I'm getting a lot of the um, asset debt and income information from the clients. So I'm sorting through that, you know, I'm kind of jotting down where everything's located, maybe account numbers, you know, what the titling is, if there's any beneficiaries listed, anything like that. Um, a lot of times I will verify that information with the client and then I will go ahead and reach out to some of those entities um, just to see, you know, make sure what we have is correct or if we're missing any information, we might want to check up on that and make sure what we have is, is, is good to go, so. Okay, okay. I know when I, that's one of the things that when a new client comes in, you know, we have our questionnaire that some you'll send mm -hmm. out or, or Courtney sends out, but um, a lot of that can be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of clients, just because you don't look at this every day, you may not know exactly what all you have, whether it's life insurance or bank accounts, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. So I know it's, it's really helpful that they have that completed as, as best they can when, oh, they, when they come in. And um, I know we're always trying to find out, you know, account numbers and mm -hmm. things like that to make sure that we know what's, what's there. So that after that first first appointment, sometimes you'll meet them, um, you know, if they're ready to move forward on a case, and again, double check things there. Mm -hmm. um, and it also depends on what type of case we're working on. You know, exactly, it might be yeah. a, just an estate planning case, or it might be a Medicaid or veterans benefits mm -hmm. type of case. Um, that changes your role a little bit in, mm -hmm. in those cases, doesn't it? So, yep. you, know, what, you know, some of the things that that you might have to do when those cases are going on. Uh, you might have to request additional statements. Mm -hmm. um, there might be, I suppose, other assets that we didn't know about that people mm -hmm. are, are letting us know. Yeah. So that seems like that's an ongoing thing through all the cases. Oh, it is, it definitely is. And like you said, it, it depends on the case, what we're looking for, you know, if we're, if we're doing anything with Medicaid, typically I'm reaching out trying to get, you know, numerous years of statements. Um, you know, on a, a will-based plan or a trust-based plan, we might not be requesting all of those statements, but we sure. still want to make sure, you know, we have all the beneficiaries listed or, um, you know, maybe we have a second person on the account so that we're avoiding probate at the end of the day. That's right. That's right. Well, I know that the thing that's been helpful over the past several years, uh, normally in the first month or so of a case, maybe the first few weeks, mm -hmm. um, once we have a pretty solid feel for what the client has, you'll send out a verification to them. Mm -hmm. um, which confirms here's what we think you have mm -hmm. and you know the legal description as well and that really kind of sets the stage for the rest of the case so exactly that's, that's exactly. an important part well as the cases move forward um, you're involved in other aspects too mm -hmm. uh, you know that's, that's a big chunk of, of what you take care of is uh, requesting information from financial institutions but uh, when we have draft documents to sign, whether it's mm -hmm. wills or powers of attorney or trust, you're at some of those signings as well. Exactly, yeah. I, I try to go with Courtney as much as I can, one, just to, to learn the process, but to also, you know, be a witness if need be. Um, one of the other things I do, too, is um, when we have that initial conference with the client, uh, at times I will go in and I will sign some of the initial fee agreements with them. Mm -hmm. um, and that gives me a chance to go over some of their assets, debt, and income with them. Sure. Um, and it gives me kind of an idea of what we're looking at before I even get the chance to re really visit the case and right. dive deep into it. Um, and it also gives me the chance just to, you know, be able to meet the client face to face right. and right. put a name with a face because sometimes I don't get the opportunity to do that. So that's, that's nice. That's true. That makes a big difference. Well, so, um, <clears throat> you know, the cases that we handle, that's, that's part of it. And putting the name with the face, that's another thing. And I think, you know, clients are interested in just your background mm -hmm. a little bit. And I know we've, they've heard from me before, they've heard from Courtney before, but tell us a little bit about your background. Yeah, so I grew up on a farm um, out in Guernsey County, um, like 15 minutes outside of Cambridge. My mom was a nurse and my dad, he was a cop up in Akron. So at a very early age, I kind of had this interest for 
criminal justice, the law, the legal system, all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I played volleyball my entire childhood. I actually played in college at Muskingum University as well. Okay. Um, while I was there, I got my undergrad in psychology and criminal justice. Okay. Um, I took a couple years outside of my undergrad just to get a grip um, with the workforce, and I did some work in HR, which mm -hmm. kind of led me to take interest in contracts. Mm -hmm. um, so I always knew I wanted to get my master's degree, so that's what I'm doing right now. I actually am in a legal studies uh, program through Purdue, and I will graduate here April 9th. Okay. So I'm looking that'll, forward to that'll, it. That'll be soon. That'll be soon. <laughs> and they've been working hard on that, so that's great. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you know, so there's some background about your, your family. What other um, hobbies or other interests do you have? Yeah, so... I always, I, I love the gym, I love nutrition, fitness, all of that good stuff. Of course, if I get the opportunity to uh, go play volleyball, I do that as well. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I'll go volunteer at my local high school and offer some coaching, and a lot of times I get to play against the team. So it, it brings me a lot of joy. Sure. Mm -hmm. One thing I, I failed to mention earlier, um, as it relates to our, our cases, you're you've kind of become the default uh, main contact mm -hmm. for our client uh, care program members. Yeah, well. yeah. Um, so that's a, that's a program, if, if you know, we're talking to a new client, they're gonna have that for a period of time, even after their case is closed. Mm -hmm. um, so you've been helping us manage that, and that's mm -hmm. grown quite a bit here in the past, yes. past several years. So another great program. Well, so you know, one of the things that I think is useful for clients to know is you know, what's, what's the biggest piece of advice you know, or the best advice that, that you could give someone who's thinking about scheduling mm -hmm. an appointment? Yeah, so of course I'm young in my career. Um, I started here back in August of 23, so I've been here a little over five months, maybe five or six months. Um, one of the biggest things that I've seen and I've spoke with our clients about is how much they wish they would have come into the office earlier. Um, you know, so they wanted to get in, make sure all of their estate planning was taken care of and their assets were titled correctly. And a lot of times, you know, they ended up waiting too long and they're in a crisis situation. So we kind of have to, you know, take that for what it is, but they do sometimes wish that they came into the office a little earlier. That makes sense. That's, that's good advice. Well, and the other thing that I know that on some cases it, it's, it's really helpful for us if, if you know, clients do not have to have everything ready to go when they mm -hmm. come in, but I know it's really helpful to have copies of statements and mm -hmm. um, you know, fill out our questionnaire completely because that gives you a head start on everything. Exactly, too. exactly. Um, you know, having that questionnaire filled out and providing us with, you know, at least some statements, some account numbers or policy numbers helps me out a bunch. Um, and it helps the process move along a lot quicker too. Um, so a lot of times what I do is, you know, I'm reaching out to these entities and if I don't have an account number, it, it makes the process a lot longer. So being able to have that stuff, you know, right off the bat, it just, it helps me and it also helps the client as well. That's great. Well, I, I know that, um, you know, if a client wants to reach out to you directly, they can of course call our main number mm -hmm. here, 452-8484. And as far as uh, if they want to email to you, what's the email address they could use? Uh, it's my name. It's J Cottle. So that's J C O T T L E. And that's here at SWBW Law Firm. Mm -hmm. um, so again, J Cottle at SWBW Law Firm dot com. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, again, thanks for giving us some background about of yourself course. and explaining what the role is and for. Everyone out there who is listening to this, again, you can reach out to Jess if you have questions for her, um, or if you wish to set an appointment, you might be talking to Courtney or, or mm -hmm. Jess, and that can be set. Uh, we have plenty of information that you can download off our website as well if you have questions about estate planning, Medicaid, or veterans benefits. So thanks for taking the time today, and we'll talk to you soon.